Shalom, and welcome to another episode of the Saber Roar. I'm Alec. And I'm Jamie. Today, we're going to highlight a few of our Franklin students and their creative talents. We'll visit the Milwaukee Film Festival, the Japanese Festival in Elm Grove, and Chico, California. Franklin students were heavily involved in this year's Milwaukee Film Festival. There were several entries in the youth show, a class field trip to the Oriental Theater, and a winning collaborative cinema screenplay. The Milwaukee Film Festival's Youth Show is a showcase of short film projects done by students and aspiring filmmakers under 18. Many of the students in the FHS TV Tech Department submitted work for consideration this year. Students submit their films for free and then a group of local filmmakers and other members of the film community screen them and then we build a program out of what we think are some of the best films to be submitted which is never an easy thing. Five films made by eight Franklin students were screened as a part of the show, and each student took part in a short question and answer session on stage after their film. It was really exciting to have my movie in the film festival this year. I put a lot of hard work into it, so it's a proud moment when something that you work on for so long gets recognized. Anyone under 18 can submit their own projects to be shown at the Milwaukee Youth Show next year. Over 30 students from both the TV Tech program and the Gay Straight Alliance attended the film festival to see a powerful documentary about acceptance. Valentine Road covered the tragic story of the life, murder, and trial process of Larry King, an 8th grade transgender youth who was shot by an intolerant classmate. It was premiered at the Milwaukee Film Festival's education screening. For the last three years, Franklin students have attended to watch documentaries showcased by our film community and more and importantly, to provoke thoughtful discussions about the ever-relevant to topics they highlight. Wow. This year, students were left speechless after viewing Valentine Road that brought out conflicting emotions for both the victim and the perpetrator. As part of the program, a group discussion was held at the end of the screening where students got a chance to express their thoughts and talk about the impact of bullying. There were a few points in the movie where I felt very emotional. Valentine Road told an unbiased recollection of the school shooting, but got the message across that it's time to start showing compassion and acceptance to everyone. Overall, the trip had extremely positive results, leaving the students with a lot of important topics to talk about. The film festival also provided one FHS student with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have her short film produced and premiered at the Milwaukee Show. This year's winner of the Collaborative Cinema Screenwriting Contest was Franklin High School senior Katie, who has participated in the program for three years. Mostly the biggest thing that's come out of it for me is now this, having a portfolio and also networking and like the connections that I've been able to make with all of the people that worked on it with me. It's been incredible and like who can say that they've done that at my age and I feel so lucky. Over the past 10 years, the program has strongly impacted countless other high school students besides Katie. However, Due to a cut in the program's funding, Love You Still has been the final student film produced by Collaborative Cinema. It's really unfortunate that the program's being cut because without Collaborative, I wouldn't have known for sure that film is what I'm doing. Cheesy as it sounds, it really did change my life and gave me like definite direction of where I'm going into film. The Milwaukee Film Festival screened 240 films in its 15-day run. This year, several of the Japanese students participated in the local Japanese festival in Elm Grove. This was the first time we've ever attended uh, the Japanese festival and the importance of it for us was that first of all we got to go display our program, tell some people outside the Franklin community about uh, the Japanese program at Fra Franklin High School. Students who attended the festival also got to meet local Japanese people, try out some of the traditional Japanese food and learn more about the culture. We also got to perform there, we did a dance. I think it was very successful. I, w I was amazed at how many of our students uh, came and performed and came just to uh, watch at the festival. Mr. Kenya hopes these events will help attract more students to take Japanese in the future. Half of the proceeds from the festival went towards our own Japanese program here at Franklin. The other half went towards relief for the Japanese disaster that occurred in 2011. FHS junior and competitive yo-yoist Noah proves that he's got the world on a string at this year's U.S. National Yo-Yo Competition. Every aspiring yo-yoist hopes to one day find themselves competing in Chico, California. But Noah points out that there's a lot more preparation involved than just the tricks. What I do is I have to edit my music, come up with a routine for tricks to match the music. Unlike the classic yo-yo tricks normally seen in competitions, he chooses a more interesting approach to his routine. I did off-string tricks where the string is not connected to the yo-yo, so you throw it up and the yo-yo comes off the string, and it makes it a lot more visually appealing. 
From picking up the hobby just three years ago to competing at the U.S. Nationals, Noah has accomplished a lot, including qualifying for the World Championships in Prague. After placing eighth at the competition, Noah continues to impress us with his yo-yoing in hopes of finding a sponsor. Caribou Lodge Yo-Yo Works, if you're watching, Noah has been working his little fingers to the bone to make it to Worlds, so sponsor him. Well, that's all the time we have. Tune in next time for another episode of the Saber Roar. I'm Alec. And I'm Jamie. See you all next time with the better desk. <laughs>